Hey everybody, it's Marty uh, and I wanted to do another Lil Gadgets review. Um, today we're going to be checking out a software called Vidly, which is a YouTube SEO, um, well it's video SEO uh, software that will allow you to uh, find long tail and high competitive long tail high competitive keywords as well as generate uh, video details like the description, titles, keywords and stuff like that uh, optimized the way that YouTube likes videos optimized. Then you've also got the niche analysis tool um, which will allow you to check out your competition and see what's what's going on there. It uh, basically helps you if, you if you're the sort of person who likes creating niche channels, uh, this will tell you how hard or easy a keyword or a niche is to break into. Then you've got the video report, which is fantastic for people who run a agency or wants to offer these sort of services because it allows you to download PDF versions of the uh, of what's going on with your videos. And then you have Rank Tracker, which will uh, automatically keep track of your rankings for per keyword. And there's actually not many softwares on the market that lets you rank, uh, lets you keep track of your ranks on YouTube and Google. Uh, so that's really cool. And we're going to dive into all of it <clears throat> uh, shortly. But if you do want to check out this software, head over to grabvidly.com. I'll show you the website now. So go to grab vid, oh, grabvidly.com and what you will see is my website with tons and tons of training. It will also get you like a, I think it's something like a 87% discount on the software, which is really cool. And also I'm gonna give away some bonuses just to help you out with the software on the way. You should receive that automatically, but if you don't, go ahead and email this email right here and I will manually process them for you, okay? So pretty cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and close this website now and let's start off with the dashboard. So the dashboard is uh, a snapshot of what's going on inside your software. It tells you everything you need to know. Excuse me for a second, just need a sip. It tells you everything that you need to know about what's going on in the past 30 days. So how many keywords you've searched, um, how many details you've generated, how many niches you've analyzed, and how many reports have been created. So it's, uh, it just lets you know what's going on, basically. Then you also have these training videos. <clears throat> okay, and it's also got webinar. Let me just, yeah. It's also got webinars where you can learn more about running a digital video marketing agency. So let's head over to keywords and I want to show you how this works because it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so here you've got your dashboard and you have when you start researching it, it will show you uh, it will show you the interest of that core keyword over the space of a year. Then it shows you the monthly search volume and then estimated YouTube views per month. So the difference between the monthly search volume and the estimated YouTube views per month is that one is how much, uh, how many times people are searching for that keyword and the estimated YouTube views per month is an estimate of how many views your YouTube videos will get if you get in the top uh, rankings of YouTube and Google. Well, on YouTube, sorry. Then you've got average YouTube competition views. So that takes how many views all the competitions got and it works out the average. And then you've got total keywords returned and that's basically how many keywords have come back. So let's go, let's have a look at plumbing software, uh, plumbing services, okay? So if you're a plumber and you're trying to rank, let's uh, see how many searches get. Now, realistically, uh, being a plumber, you're not really going to want to go nationwide unless that's the sort of business that you've got. So you want to uh, change it to wherever you're actually based. So I'm based in the United Kingdom. So English United Kingdom is where I want to go. And if we scroll down, you can actually save keywords in this little area, which I'll show shortly, and then export them out. And under, oh, 
under options, you can actually categorize it according to source. So even though it's predominantly YouTube and Google, it also allows you to see what your competition are ranking for, what's ranking on Bing, Amazon, eBay, Pinterest, Yahoo. So there's lots of different ways that you can make this tool work for you, no matter what sort of uh, marketer or your end goal is. It's on all of the main platforms, so keyword research should be really easy. <coughs> Let's go ahead and click research. <clears throat> okay, so what you can see here is that now all of the keywords have been loaded and it's returned 183 keywords specific to plumbing services. And remember, the reason it's only 183 is because what it does, it finds search terms that have potential and haven't really been properly indexed by Google yet. So it's all long tail uh, and low competition uh, search terms which are potentially hidden gems, okay? And then what it does is it will show you the keyword right here. Then it shows you the source, and if you hover over it, it shows whether it's uh, been found on Google. So these searches here have been found on Google. This is YouTube. This is competition, okay? And ultimately, these are just the ones that we categorized, uh, that we asked it to search for, so it's only going to show those three. Then you've got the recommended uh, option, and that's basically how closely related it is to your main keyword and how much they recommend trying to rank for that uh, search term. So you can see, does Home Depot provide plumbing services? So that's actually a keyword that this software strongly recommends to try and rank for. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, it doesn't just take the ones with the highest YouTube competitors or monthly volume because ultimately, well, 406,000 competitors is still a lot and there's still a lot of people. Now, 406 competitors, you take this with a bit of a pinch of salt, I've found, purely because not there's definitely not 406,000 people trying to rank for this overall term. The reason it's showing up like that is because they may have this overall term uh, included in their description or keywords somewhere, but overall, people are likely not actually trying to rank for this entire uh, long tail keyword. So that's definitely something you want to look at. And then on the right, you've got monthly volume and you can see it's likely under 100 searches per month. But we need to remember something with these keywords, which they are long tail keywords. So that is a lot more focused searches. That's a lot. The intent of those searches is considerably higher than anything else. OK, so you may only get let's even if you get 10 percent of 100 searches a month you get 10 people watching your video those 10 people are a lot more likely to buy from you because they are a lot more focused with their search okay so the quality is much much better so i wouldn't worry too much about the volume especially if you're a local business and you're really going through get, trying to get quality sort of people. Doing it this way will help you get quality. Anyway, so uh, you can actually filter everything. So let's just go ahead and filter it by YouTube competitors. And if we scroll down, I personally don't always go with the recommended scores. I actually like getting a nice balance. So I tend to like going for searches which are kind of in the bottom bits of YouTube competitors uh, only because then I it's almost guaranteed you're going to get the rankings um, and then as I build authority across the channel that's when I start going for the hotter and the, the better long tail keywords okay
as you can see emergency plumbing services is also a really good one so you can probably see that what i've been doing is i've actually just been ticking each of these boxes okay and you do that just by clicking on and clicking off then what you can do is you can add to saved keywords okay so so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click add to add to save keywords sorry i'm not sure what's going on my computer's glitching out a bit uh add to save keywords okay there you go okay so now it's in the save keyword area you have a choice you can export them copy them or clear them clearing them obviously gets rid of them uh, if you want to export them click export and all those keywords are now downloaded into a notepad ready for you to copy and paste let's just get rid of that and then you can copy it and you can do the same at this here now the next step is actually niche analysis not video details so you want to want to do is go to the niche analysis tool Okay, and this little area, before I start talking about what we're gonna do next, let me explain this area for you. So this is like the first step of the research stage. So what you wanna do is this, you put in your keywords that you're trying to rank for and it will tell I do apologize, I'm not quite sure why. stop there uh, i'm just gonna try putting it back in ah there we go okay uh so sorry yeah so what you want to do with this is you are going to want to um put in each keyword into this area and it's going to tell you how easy or how hard the keyword is to rank for and the reason it does this and the reason why this stage is so important is purely because it's going to help you save time down the line. The last thing you want to do is create a whole big portfolio of videos which are so hard to rank for that, well, they're never going to get seen, okay? So what we want to do, we want to open up that file that we saved before. I'm just going to pull it on my other screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is type in the first keyword and click research. <clears throat> okay so what it's done is over here it's telling us the keyword that we've just entered and it's saying it will be very easy to rank on the top five spots on youtube so in other words if we want to be in the top five positions of youtube which let me just go over to youtube So if we wanted to be in this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, or this spot, well, we would, uh, there's a good, good chance that we would be in this spot, okay? So it's saying that we've. it will be really easy to do that. Then if we wanted to rank on the first page of YouTube, well, that will be really easy because the first page of YouTube is literally the entire first page. And if it's going to be easy to rank in the first five spots of YouTube, well, it's going to be easy to rank in the other spots as well okay so you know uh obviously then you've got the best title which is emergency plumbing service okay and that's basically it's taken all of these uh, videos here it's done its an analysis and it's basically say yeah this is the best title and if you hover over it it will give you the full hover and then if you hover over best description this is the best description to put into um the description area yeah so it's even doing that for us but we can actually generate this information down the line once we've decided okay then it's telling us that the average views across all of these videos is around about 60 and the bare minimum views is five and the maximum views is 539 so the reality of it is rank number one you know isn't actually the best video for views 
rank number two has got the most views but for some reason um it's ranking number one which is really interesting now we don't really need to look too closely into that but what we do need to look into is we need to kind of work out how many views we need in for uh, to make money from these videos so these videos so top videos had over 500 views which means that realistically if you get that per year and you get let's say one lead per month so that's 12 leads a month then that's actually reasonably reasonable to um to come to the conclusion with you know one one lead per month just from this one video now don't forget this is just from one video if you do this with lots of with all your keywords and you have 10 videos uh, with each one generating one lead uh, a month well then that's 10 leads a month followed by 120 leads a year through basically passive marketing and then if you have a hundred videos all targeting different keywords and you're getting one lead per video per month well that's a hundred leads and that's 1200 leads per year so it's definitely possible now obviously you're probably looking in the early stages around about 80 percent of the videos not actually generating any leads for you especially for a while so but 20 percent of the videos doing it is still you know if you've got 100 videos 20 videos uh, a month uh, 20 leads a month is still a respectable amount of leads and then you know at least this way you've got a formula and you can say how many videos i need and how many keywords and 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 and, and, and all that will happen is that the more videos you post quality videos that you post uh, let me just um, end this video and I'm going to continue it in part two.